Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Yes, it has been quite a number of weeks since I did a Power of the Force Fridays. Just sort of took a little bit of a break, just to sort of reevaluate how I want to do these videos. Um, and yeah, pretty much I've just decided I'm going to do Power of the Force Fridays when I feel like it. Um, I was putting way too much pressure on myself to make sure I had video to go out every single week. Um, if I was full-time content creator, absolutely, but I have you know, a full-time job and a life outside of work, so, and other, among other things. So, yeah, I decided just, just to take the pressure off a little bit, I'm going to do some videos when they, when I, when I basically feel like doing them. Um, but yeah, managed to pick this set up, Minoc Hunt from 1996 or five. Let's have a look. Let's, let's have a look on the back. Okay. Uh, yeah, 1998. Okay. So a little bit later on in the line. But uh, yeah, this one, you know, looking forward to getting this set. Sort of trying to just just keep my eyes open for Power of the Force sets that are I'm missing, figures that I'm missing, and just finding them, trying to find them for a good price. And I think I paid 30 bucks. So this was obviously on sale somewhere. I have no idea what that's an advertisement from. But yeah, we've got Chewbacca, Princess Leia Organa, and Han Solo, and a Minoc, which is cool. Um is I don't actually have a Minoc in three and three quarter inch, so that's that's a first. We do have the Millennium Falcon ramp in the background, and Han Solo's gun has come out of his hand. It is somewhere in in here. There it is. It's jumping around. It's jumping around in there somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah, never had the versions of you know these these guys with the um, with the gas masks. So I thought let's do an unboxing. And we'll talk about it as we go. I've brought in some hardware. Okay, that's already been cut open. That's fine. And I've brought in some strong hardware in order to get through those cables that tie the tie the figures down. Right, let's get the Minoc out of the way. You know what? I'm just going to crack them all open and we'll get them out of there. Right, so, yep, why not go, just go straight for the, uh, the Y cutters rather than trying to undo knots underneath. Make it a little bit easier for myself. There's another one on Han's waist. Just be careful not to, uh, not to snip the figure at all. I'm gonna find a little gap. And another one on Chewy. There we go, we should be able to just Pull the figures out. Just go one by one. And take the stand out. Yeah, that was so much easier than how I've done it in the past. <laughs> Trying to, um, you know, come in the bottom and un untwist all those stands. It's just, yeah. So there we got the base. There are three. Three pegs on it. So let's get a look at the uh, the Minoc. So it looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't have a Falcon anymore. I'd love to eventually get one and just stick this guy on the uh, on the cockpit window. But that's kind of cool. I said I'll find a find a place. For him, find maybe just stick him, blue tack him up on the wall or something of the of the shelf, so he can be sort of standing there. And we got Leia. I don't think she comes with a blaster. And you know, I don't think I've actually got Hoth Leia in the Power of the Force. I can't actually see up on the shelf, so I don't think so. But. I don't know, just a little bit cautious about these because they've been sitting on there for, I mean, 25 years plus. But it's cool. I like the, uh, I would def definitely be keeping these with the, uh, with the masks on. So 
pretty much, you know, they've just escaped Hoth at this point, so it hasn't had a chance to, to change the clothing. But it's not too bad. For 1998, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to keep the gas mask on because they do look good. I might just even have her holding a little breather. No, it won't. It doesn't want to bend that way. That's okay. So there is Leia. We got Chewy. Yeah, he looks strangely happy under there. <laughs> yeah, this is by far one of the, not one of the greatest Chewies that's ever been ever been released. But um, you know, for the purposes of of this pack, I think it's fine. You can sort of see some of that little elastic bands that have held the blaster in place, They've sort of just decayed and withered away over the years. You know what? It doesn't look terrible. And there's definitely worse ones out there. That sort of grey, grey sort of wash over him makes him look a little bit more older than he is. <laughs> but yeah, having being able to have have Chewy with the breathing mask on while they're out in the uh, space slug. I'm not going to take the blaster out of his hand because it's. It's been there for that long. It's <laughs> I might as well just leave it there. So there's Chewy, and finally Han Solo. I'm pretty sure this is the same as the Bespin one. You got the black jacket. Well, I think the regular Bespin one had black jacket too. And they'd quite determined the colours of his jacket. I don't know what it is with Han Solo's jackets and not being able to pick the right colour. There he is. Yeah, it looks good. And of course his DL-44 blaster. Going out to look for shooting Minox off the hull of the Falcon. So yeah, that's a cool, cool little addition. I'm excited to find a spot on the uh, Power of the Force shelf for this one. Nice to have, nice to have these three. I don't know whether I'll use the backdrop. I haven't for any of the others, so I probably won't. I'll just use the stand because the stand's still quite good. And yeah, you'll just try to find a find a spot for Mr. Minock boy. Maybe you can just sit in the back like that. That'll do. That works. Or could I'll just keep him on display like that? That looks fine. Happy with that. Anyway, folks, again, I appreciate you coming and joining in for another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Again, I will continue with them, just not weekly as I have in the past. Um, yeah, maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Never say never. Um, but yeah, for now, just when I, when I can afford to, for, for the time, um, same with my Clone Wars Thursday throwback videos. They're just going to be an occasional, um, when I'm up to it, when I'm feeling it, not too much pressure on myself. Um, yeah, I don't really want to just spit out content for the sake of it. I want to be able to feel good about it and enjoy it. So again, I appreciate all your support. You know, the, you guys are the reason I do this, um, Oh, I, I have fun with it too. I like talking about my collection and my hobbies, so I'm glad you're all are sticking around to share it with me. Um, we'll catch up soon for another another video. And until then, may the force be with you always. We would be honoured if you would join us.